Hey everybody, it's Casey here with Life Abstract Gaming. Today I want to talk about The Walking Dead Season 7 so far. It hit its mid-season break uh, just a couple of weeks back, so I think that's enough time for most fans to have caught up and finished. So from this point going forward, if you're not all caught up, consider this your spoiler warning. Back to it. <laughs> Clearly, the season started off with tragedy. It slowly built up to this in the last season finale, but we had to wait for the show to return to get that payoff. Uh, it was really impactful, especially since I don't actually follow the comics, so I wasn't convinced that it would be Glenn even though those theories were floating around. But the double whammy with Abraham got me as well, since I didn't know he'd actually lived a little past where he died in the comics up to that point. So really just some course correction going on. What I found to actually be the most interesting and important part of the premiere was the trip that Negan takes Rick on, and then the complete breaking in he performs on the leader of our group. Uh, Negan completely crushes Rick's spirit, and he does not get it back anytime soon, more so than the Glenn and Abraham's deaths. Rick's subjugation is the thing that weighs the heaviest on the rest of the group. Please, it, it can be me. Please! We see the feelings of the group spill out in various disconsidered attempts at revenge that all lead up to the disaster in the mid-season finale. Almost no one understands what Rick is trying to do, which is keep everyone alive, not keep them happy, not fulfilled, not free, but alive. So you get Carl stowing away and going Rambo at Negan's camp. Spencer trying to plot a coup behind Rick's back, and Rosita coming so painfully close to successfully assassinating Negan, but ultimately failing, so that ends up getting Olivia killed, and Eugene taken away since he was the one that made the bullet. It's not until this boiling point that we as an audience, along with Rick, see that he was wrong. There was never going to be a successful scenario where they kept their heads down and provided for Negan and everybody stayed alive. They just aren't those people. It all blows up because Rick's group is a group of fighters. He's the main one who's trained them to be that way. So now he gets it. He'll never be able to keep the rest alive while under Negan's thumb. Their only viable option is doing what they've always done, which is fight. So do you understand why Rick lost his way? Do you think the group should have just followed directions? What do you think the plan will be going forward? We've seen them trying to ally with the kingdom in the preview, but what are they actually going to do against such a huge number of people in this organization? Like, what do you think? Let us know. We're listening.